is Carl Brown from GuitarLessons365.com. Been requested this a lot when, that didn't make any sense. I've been requested this one a lot lately, and it's a really fun track to play. Classic Motley Crue, Take Me to the Top. So we're going to learn how to play this one note for note today, but we are in kind of standard um, Motley Crue tuning here. So that means every string is tuned down a whole step. So you're going to have to tune the E string down to a D, a string down to a G, D string down to a C, G string down to an F, B string down to an A, and the high E string down to a D. So that'll get the whole guitar, still, you know, all the fingerings work the same, but everything sounds massive. So it's really, really fun song to play too. All right, so let's jump in here. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I keep forgetting to say that. And ring the notification bell so you know when I release a new video. And check out my Guitar Academy. You get a free seven-day trial to it if you click the link below uh, just to try out the Academy. And it's got all my guitar courses covering everything from technique to uh, guitar tone and ear training and theory and improvisation, um, many different styles, complete beginner course as well. So please go over there and check it out. So let's start here with this um, intro, which is the main riff, also the chorus of the song. So it's... So I'm just going, hitting that, I'm going to call it the A string, or I'm going to call the strings as if they're like in standard tuning, but you know this is actually a G string. Now let's play this. So we're going to start with this, this couple of hits on the A, and you can play this power chord right here, the seventh fret there on the D string, and the ninth fret on the G. And then move that down to the fifth fret. Then you play that open A, the A string again, muted. Then you play that power chord again, and then just kind of flip the notes. You're, you're going to flip over to this, the seventh fret there on the D, fifth fret on the G, so this. And then back to the A string, and then back to that chord you're holding right now, and then move back to that power chord, the regular power chord. So you got kind of flips back and forth between those two, so it is. And then from there we have this. That's the open D string real quick, just muted, and then play the open A, hammer on five, and hammer on seven, so it is. Now, generally when they're playing that riff, they play it eight times, and then it goes into this little part. But the first time you hear that, there's a little harmonic feel going on there. So I'll show you that one real quick, but then I'll show you actually that full riff, how it's kind of played the rest of the song. It just doesn't have that little feel in it. But we have this. So that's just hitting that that eighth, uh, the A string twice, and then hitting that power chord at the uh, seventh fret of the D and the ninth fret of the G there. So you did that twice. Then there's a quick triplet on the A string. And then that power chord gets away this. And then the first time you hear this, you hear these harmonics come in at that point, and that harmonics like they're this. So what's going on with that? It's the A string muted, open A string first, and then we have fifth fret harmonic on the D string, then the fifth fret on the A harmonic, then back to the D, and then over to the G, and you're gonna hit that harmonic there twice, and then once on the B string at the fifth fret. So we this. Open A string first, kind of muted, and then you have. So it is. So it's really quick. So you just kind of lay your finger across there. You just, just pick the harmonics. So remember, it's open A, then the harmonics on the D, 
A, D, G twice, and then the B. That's the way it is. All right, so that's kind of tricky to get it exactly like he does it on the album. But then the rest of the time you hear that riff. It kind of does that two hits, then that triplet. And then it kind of hits the chord, but kind of mute it. And then it plays the power chord there, the fifth fret instead of the seventh. So move it down two frets. So the second, third, and fourth time of playing it, you're going to hear like that. All right, so we're basically going to do that four times. The rest of the, any time you hear that for the rest of the track, you're going to just hear. Just without that fill. And you might hit, then, then when they end that riff, they just hold that last chord, and then we go into this really cool section. leads us to the the chorus I mean the verse I'm sorry so it, we have this there's a quick when you go to these first two chords it's a quick low E string hit uh, just Paul muted heavily say just like that real quick and then we have the first fret power chord and then the third fret power chord off the A string and then we have these harmonics now what you're gonna do first is you're gonna play these harmonics you're just gonna take your uh, like your ring finger or whatever finger you're like doing harmonics with, and just lightly touch the A string, and then slowly just move it up the string. And while you're doing that, you're picking in kind of just eighth notes here down down. The and it makes that finger go across all these harmonic note points with this. All right, and then what we're gonna do, so we're going up the string there, right? And then we had the little again, and then, then we're gonna do the harmonics again, but start higher and go lower this time. All right, so it's kind of like the harmonics first time going up the string, and then the second time going down the string. So we have this. That same little transition riff and then we get to the verse which looks like this So that's just kind of the verse there. So it, we're just doing from uh, so from the A, just kind of chugging on the A power chord. Just kind of hit the A string there. Hit the A power chord. Nice eighth note feel there on the A string. Muted. Then you hit a G power chord, but it's an open power chord. So what that basically means is you get a third fret on the high E and the B, open G and D, but you're going to mute the A string with the bottom of your middle finger. And then play that third fret there on the um, uh, low E string. So you strum that, you hit that, and then you mute it and just do the muted eighth notes again on there on the low E string when you're holding on the third fret. So we have this. And then we're going to move up here to the power chord here. At the seventh fret there off the on the A string. And then you pick the chord and then keep chugging on that A string there. And then the up to the A fret. And ten. And that same transition that we did before. And then back to the A chord and we go through the same chords. And then the ending here, play that G 
kind of strum this and let it ring out a little bit and end it with just an A power chord. So you don't do that transition. You don't have that ending. It's just... And then it goes to the chorus again. Like I said, you hear that riff eight times and then back to the... And then back to the... Back to the same, so that's the same harmonic riff. Sorry, it's, I'm kind of just playing because it's fun to play. Uh, then we have the harmonic riff. The same verse again happens, and then the same chorus, um, and then out of that chorus, we have. We kind of have a little bar dive, and that goes into the solo. So let me play through the uh, Mick Mars' solo real quick for you, and then I'll show you how to play it note for note. <laughs> So that pretty much we can get note for note except for one little section in there that he does a bunch of overdub guitars together. So that part, and just like he does live, you can kind of do whatever you want. So I just kind of mimicked what he did in this kind of really old classic live footage of him playing. Um, I kind of mimicked what he did there because that, that's that part of... And that right there, all of a sudden, we have multiple guitars going at the same time. He's kind of doing that Tony Iommi trick of just having a bunch of guitars soloing at the same time, and they're all doing different stuff, and it kind of just kind of collides. So um, anyway, so the rest of it, though, we can get note for note. So we're going to do this. So that's the first phrase there. So what we're going to do here is we're going to play the fifth fret there on the B string. Hammer on six, pull back off to five, over to seven on the G, and then back to that uh, fifth fret there on the B. So wait this. Then we're gonna do that again. So it, but when you do it the second time, when you get back to the E, you're gonna start a little eighth note pattern. So we have this. Five, six on the B, then seven on the G, back to that five on the B, and then play five, seven on the G, and then four, five on the G. So we have this. Slow again. the exact same thing, two frets lower. All right, and then we have this. So that right there is going to play... 7, 8 there on the A string. So this is going to be palm muted this whole run up. And you're going to play 6, 7, 9 on the D string twice. So we have this. And then play 5, 7, 9 twice on the G. So we have this. Then move over here to the B string and you play... 6, 8, 10. And then after you play 6, 8, 10, go back to the G string, 9th fret, and then play 6, 8, 10 on the B again. Then play 7, 8 on the high E. So we have from this right here from the... Uh,
seven, eight, and then go back over to the ten. You probably want to grab it with your ring finger if you bend with a ring finger, or pinky if you bend with a ring. I'm just bend with the bend, bend with the pinky. So you're gonna grab the tenth fret again on the beat, then, then go uh, slide it up to the twentieth fret into a whole step bend. There's a little harmony line there too, but we have this. Alright, there we go back to, you hear the rhythm guitar, you can jump back and grab the chorus. And then we kind of had the second part of the solo, it was kind of like this. Alright, so that's the phrase that we're going to, I'm just kind of noodling around, um, like he does. Um, so, because there's multiple guitars there and you can't really get it right like the recording anyway. So we can start though. We're just, you're doing the bend of the 20th fret on the B into the 17th fret on the high E, kind of. And then just into some bends with the 20th fret. Or just with the 20th fret there on the B. And then we start with the bend, a little descending run. And it's kind of just like kind of a standard bluesy pentatonic uh, descending lead. So it's kind of like pulling off 20 to 17. You can really do whatever you want here. And then 19 on the G, then back to that sending. So I go like that, and then pull off 19 to 17. So I just pull off 20 to 17, over to 19 on the G, back to the 17 on the B, and then pull off 19 to 17 on the D. And then kind of the same look again, but across, doing it between the 19 and 17 on the G and the D. Kind of that kind of thing. And then I start moving down because when I saw him play live, he kind of he's kind of in the background, but and then he just kind of goes down between 17 and 14 on the uh, G string, and, and the same thing on the D. They go down to the 12th fret, and then one of the harmony guitar parts on the album ends on that note. And I think it sounds kind of cool because it kind of sets up what's coming next. So we. Have... Or you can just end it on the regular E, but I, I like that that dissonance, dissonance that kind of sets up this. All right, so I, I like ending on that note. And that last phrase that I just played right there is going to be 1415 on the D. And then 1314 on the on the G string. So over to the 12th fret on the B. So wait this. And then you play 13, 14 on the G again. Then play 12, 13, 15 on the B. So we have this so far. Up to 12 on the high E. Back down to that 13 on the B. Up to 15. So we have this so far. And then the rest of the solo is just repeating 12, 13, 15 on the high E string. Until we get to the A power chord there. Um, and then it goes, uh, so after the solo there, we just have the chorus again. Into that same rhythm. Uh, actually, I don't even know if it goes to that riff. Just do the chorus riff. Kind of thinking a different part of the song. So just do the chorus riff, and then at the end of the track, we just actually end it holding this G power chord, which is just the 5th fret there on the D, and the 7th on the G, uh, G, and then into this, you can play the, the A power chord off the 5th fret of the low E string. So just play that chorus, and then just, you know, whenever there's parts, whatever part's going on there, uh, it's going to be those two riffs, and end it with that G power chord, and then the A power chord. 
Oh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. It's a lot of fun to play as soon as you get it under your fingers. And the, the solo's got some really cool licks in it, too. Um, so I hope you'll uh, have a lot of fun learning it. All right, I'll see you guys again soon from guitarlessons365.com.